Chapter 8 Princess Magnolia was not alone in the broom closet. Who's there? asked Princess Magnolia. It's me, Princess Sneezewort. Princess Magnolia squinted. All she saw were some brooms. The brooms moved. Wow, Princess Sneezewort, she said. You blended in with the brooms. You're really good at hiding. So are you, said Princess Sneezewort. I've been in this closet for an hour. I saw your dress. I didn't think you were in it. The closet door opened. I found you, said Princess Tulip. You two are good hiders. I checked the closet three times. That is curious, said Princess Sneezewort. Chapter 9 Shall we do presents now? asked Princess Molly. We really should, said Princess Euphoria. Presents make a party particularly perfect. Oh, goody, said Princess Magnolia. There was a ringing sound. What is that noise? asked Princess Orchid. It's the alarm again, said Princess Magnolia. She sighed. <sighs> um, it's time for the races. The princesses went outside. The princesses mounted their mounts. Ready, set. Go! Princess Magnolia and her unicorn, Frimple Pants, won the first race. Princess Sneezewort and her pig, Sir Hogswell, came in last. There was a second race. Princess Bluebell and her pegasus, Jollybuck, won. Princess Sneezewort and Sir Hogswell came in last. There was a third race. Princess Zinnia and her stag, Santa Bear, won. There was a fourth race. Princess Apple Blossom and her antelope, Ed, won. Princess Sneezewort was always last. Sir Hogswell did not believe in races. Sir Hogswell did not believe in speed. Sir Hogswell believed in dinner, dessert, and a good night's sleep. From the back, Princess Sneezewort could see all the princesses. She could see all their mounts but she could no longer see Princess Magnolia in Frimple Pants. There was a fifth race. That time, Princess Magnolia came in last. She rode up behind Princess Sneezewort. Her hair was messy. Her glass slippers were on the wrong feet. Hmm, that is curious, said Princess Sneezewort.